So we're going to do a little uh, tutorial on the uh, twirl digital editing. So we start with an image. It's got a nice color palette. Uh, look around at several different ones. We get a yellow and red here, a little bit of orange and red. Um, even here we have some orange and red, green. We may start with this one. Let's see what else we have here. This one might work. It's a little out of focus, but it'll work for what we want to do. We're going to go here. I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. Okay, so we've got him opened in Photoshop. We're going to come in and we're going to black out pretty much everything around the uh, plant itself here. So we'll go in and we'll play here. Doesn't have to be exact for what we're doing. It's not that big of a deal. I do want to keep some of this. So we have a little bit of the green in here, especially some of that yellow is very nice. So we have the B. Even keep a little bit of that. Okay, and then I'm going to erase uh, the rest of this. Basically, I'm just going to draw over top of it with black. So we'll come in here and draw. Give me one second, we'll finish this. Okay, we've got that blacked out. We'll come in here and deselect everything. It basically just leaves us with some nice color to play with. Um, I have built some pre-done actions. Uh, these basically are duplicating a layer, doing the radial blurs, duplicating that, doing the twirl, and then uh, duplicating it again, flipping it, and then setting us to that layer. Um, those steps are laid out in the blog, so I'm going to run this little action which does all of this for us, and we'll see what the results are. So here's our result after running through the actions. We have a couple different layers over here, basically just mirrored images. So we're going to start with this one, and this is where a lot of people just kind of quit. Okay, I, I did this and I'm done. Um, what I do a little bit that kind of takes mine a little bit different directions is we start duplicating some layers. And again, make sure we click lighten on these. Then we'll come in with this layer. We'll zoom out a little. I'll rotate him 180. Could just mirror it, uh, whatever. Or you could come back in this way, go 90. Give us a second, and then we can move this around, lay it out however we want. We want to join it in here, maybe move it out a little bit more. Don't worry so much about the uh, the bright green line there. We'll make some changes to that in a minute. We're going to come in here and we're going to click on this one. Actually, we're going to combine these two. So we're going to merge these layers. Again, click lighten so we can see what's behind it. I'm going to add a mask and then we'll come in with the mask and we'll blend this out just a little bit. Then we get out of the mask, duplicate this layer again, and then we'll flip him this way. Grab it, drag it to the other side. You notice you get a nice little guide that kind of keeps you straight here. And then you just lay it out wherever you want it. And then you can start playing a little bit more. We'll take just one piece here, duplicate it. Gonna shrink it down a little bit. And we're gonna use that over here, but we're gonna flip it. I'll rotate it so it's more like, yeah, kind of like that. I'm going to line this up a little here. And then we'll flip that layer, make a duplicate. Flip it horizontally. And we're going to, I think that'll work the way it is. If we want to move them both up a little, 
Give us a little bit more room. Kind of play with it like that. If we want to move individually, we can kind of give us a little bit more room this way. Same thing this way. However you want to lay it out, it's entirely up to you. It's your art. That's the whole point. There's something different that you build. And we can even move the whole thing up or down, kind of blend it together. And you now it looks like we kind of have a little eyes and a beak. So, okay, so we can continue this down this road. We'll take the original again, duplicate it, shrink it. We can come over here and add it in there. You'll notice, depending on where it is in the layer, you'll get different looks. Uh, we can flip this guy this way. Kind of put him in here. Or we can even flip him some other way. We can rotate him. We can stretch it if we want to stretch it down a little. Make it completely look different than what we had. So give this a little bit of look here. Gives us some of the green in the bottom, a little overlap here. We'll go ahead and flip him over, make a duplicate of him, flip him horizontally, and then we're going to drag him the other side so he kind of looks similar. Again, you can use guides, uh, rulers, and things if you want to lay it out exact. I'm not really that worried about it at this point. I'm just more just wanting to show you the techniques that I'm using. Again, if it's too much in certain areas, like on top of these guys here, um, we can come into the mask and we can bleed out a little of that. A little too much, obviously. But uh, you can come into the opacity, drop it. And you can kind of fade it out a little bit if you want. Oh, got to pick the right one. One's one side and one's the other. Maybe that's a little too much in there. Try to keep it the same. Or if you want to just work on one side, delete the other and flip it. That's fine too. And again, we can go all the way back to the original items. Decide we want to move things around a little bit. Maybe we don't like it right where it was. Scoot it over a little back to the other one scoot him back this way a little and now we've got even a more different face you have an eye an eye a big nose if we want to line things up you can kind of come through here figure out where you want zero to be pick a center and you can reset zero and then when you move things you'll know exactly how far you've moved them Notice I'm moving it to say, so say three, whatever, three inches. Come back a little, it's two, six, seven, five. Okay, so we basically continue flipping things around. You can make any changes you want. If you want to move the whole thing, you might want to move it up a little or center it some. So we're going to grab everything and move it up a little. Getting a little residual of this background image here. So we're going to do that. And then we'll put a new layer above him with uh, just a solid background. Come into layer, new, solid, just call it black. black layer stick it back in the background and there we have it now if we want to make some changes to these to go to lighten on him and again we can put the uh, mask in get rid of this solid kind of color we've got going blend it in a little bit Let's see. Let's give it a little bit of change not sure which one that one's coming from. It's probably one of these other ones. So we'll make a mask layer on him. Same thing here. There we go. Kind of 
going to get rid of that solid line we've got going. And I think it may be, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I think it's these two. So we add a mask layer on that. Yep, there we go. So mask that out. This one, do the same thing. You can hear me clicking my mouse a thousand times. But that gives you a basic idea of some of the things I've been doing. Um, we'll go back, take it from here. And you can either merge it all if you want, uh, or you can leave it as individual pieces so you can come back and play with that later. It's entirely up to you. We're going to move these couple a little bit and see what we get. Move them up a little. It's kind of a, I don't know, just something different. So there we go. It's a little better. Not so... Uh, all symmetrical. This this kind of almost looks like he's got hands reaching out to grab you. Something different. Again, we can kind of find these pieces in here that have the uh, right down in here. Figure out which one the heck that's on. There's that one. Do the other one. Get rid of that. Same thing on these. There's a little bit of things there. Gets rid of those harsh lines. If you don't like this up here, you can do the same thing with it. I think that's uh, these guys here. You can always turn everything off little by little till we find which piece. Oh, it's that one. So you guys so put a mask on these two. Then we'll just come in and blur this out, mask it out so it goes away. Do the same thing with the other one. We turn everybody else back on. There you go. If you want it to be a little smoother, just kind of clean it up a little. Just again, just some examples. You can change it, play with it, layer it change colors, whatever you want to do. We're going to move from here and I'm just going to flatten this whole image. I'm going to create a new layer. Okay, let's try that again. Too quick, thank you. We're going to take this into Topaz Labs. into glow. Okay, inside glow, we've picked fur and feathers. And you can see it kind of gives it this little sharpness to all the lines. A little too much actually, so we're going to blend that back. So you get what you want, however you want it to look. All these personal preferences this is up to you guys. So we'll zoom back out. So there's without, and there's with. Maybe a little bit more. Hit OK, and we'll go back to uh, Topaz. Or back to Lightroom, sorry, out of Topaz. Now that we're done in here, we'll go back to Lightroom. Make sure we save our drawing. Now we're back inside Lightroom. Come into Develop. Start playing around with the lighting a little bit. Again, personal preferences. Depends on what you want it to look like. Bring the vibrance down a little or bring it up so it's really out there. You can even change colors simply by dragging the uh, color slider, the white balance. A little purple or a little more green. Your color. You want to deal with shadows, highlights. You can even come down here in the luminance section and darken individual colors or brighten them. A little more playing. And whenever you're finished, uh, 
just export it and you're pretty much done I will go ahead and export this guy out I've already got a preset built for this click that and the uh, finished image gets exported and I will go ahead and uh, upload that with a link to this video y'all have fun and tell me what you think thank you very much